Experiment with what a plant needs to grow by Nadia Higgins. What are plants? Plants are living things. They grow, they reproduce. Like you, plants need air and water. They need minerals to stay healthy. They also need food. For a plant, food starts with sunlight. Sunlight fuels photosynthesis. This is a process in which green leaves make food using air and water. With enough sunlight and water, flowering plants will bloom. Plants give us food, wood, and medicine. Photosynthesis provides the oxygen we need to breathe. Can seeds get too much water? Water helps a plant stay strong and sturdy, but even before a plant shoots out of the ground, its seeds need water to sprout. Can seeds get too much water? Let's find out. What you need, three small bowls, water, six cotton balls, handful of grass seeds, pencil, and paper. Plants die if they don't get enough water. Steps. One, start by putting two cotton balls in each of the bowls. Next, fill the first bowl so the cotton balls are covered with water. Moisten the second bowl's cotton balls all the way through. Don't add any water to the third bowl. Three, Sprinkle about a dozen seeds on top of the cotton balls in each bowl. Label the bowls so you remember which is which. Four, put the cotton balls in a sunny place. Five, check the bowls every day. Make sure the first two cotton balls stay covered in water. Make sure the second two stay moist. After a few days, some seeds will sprout. Keep checking your seedlings for a week. Which sprouts are the tallest and sturdiest? Think it through. A seed has a coat that protects it. Water softens the coat so the seed can sprout. But seeds also need air. Too much water can keep a seed from getting enough air. Now try this. Plants need minerals to be healthy. Most plants get minerals from the soil. Predict how long your grass can survive without soil. Watch the grass sprouts to see if you are right. Be sure to write down your predictions before you start experimenting. Horse chestnut have spiky seed coats to protect their seeds. How do leaves get air? We just saw that seeds need air to sprout. Roots need air too. Air is also part of photosynthesis. As they make food, green leaves take air in and let it out. Let's find out how. What you need, petroleum jelly, masking tape, camera, leafy green plant. You can easily poke your finger into good garden soil. The loose soil holds lots of tiny spaces. Those air-filled spaces keep roots healthy. Steps. One, spread heavy coat of petroleum jelly over the tops of five leaves of your plant. Do the same on the undersides of five other leaves. Three. Put your plant in a sunny window, then take its picture. Four, observe your plant every day for the next week. Mark the tops of the coated leaves with tape so you can easily find them again. Compare what you see to the photo you took on the first day. How are the leaves different from your photo? Think it through. Petroleum jelly kept some of the leaves from letting air in and out. Those leaves started to wilt. The leaves that were coated on the bottom wilted the most. Measure like a scientist. Measuring helps scientists show exactly what is happening. Let's look at some ways you might use measuring in a plant experiment. Measurement, weight, length, time, volume. Test, tool, unit metric. Weight, weigh two seeds is one heavier. Scale, ounces. Length, measure a bean seedling in the morning, then measure it the next day. Did it grow taller? Tool, ruler, unit, inches, centimeters. Time, track how many days it takes for a plant to bloom. Tool, calendar, unit, days. Volume, measure how much water you are adding to a pot. Tool, measuring cup, cup, milliliters.